we are asked to prove that for any positive integers a and b, the expression 36a plus b times 36b plus a cannot be a power of 2. We will approach this using a proof by contradiction. Let's assume the statement is false and see where it leads. We will assume that the expression is equal to 2 to the power of k for some non-negative integer k. Since both factors are positive integers and their product equals 2 to the k, by the fundamental theorem of arithmetic, every prime factor of each factor must be 2. Therefore, each factor must itself be a power of 2. This implies that 36a plus b must equal 2 to the m, and 36b plus a must equal 2 to the n. For some integers, m and n, where m plus n equals k. With a symmetric system of equations, a standard technique is to add and subtract them to reveal underlying structures. First, let's add the two equations. Combining like terms on the left side gives 37a plus 37b. Factoring out 37 reveals our first key relationship. Next, we subtract the second equation from the first. This yields 35a minus 35b. And factoring out 35 gives our second key relationship. Let's investigate the consequences of the first relationship involving the prime number 37. The left side of this equation is clearly divisible by 37. This implies the right side, 2 to the m plus 2 to the n, must also be divisible by 37. We can factor this expression. Since 37 is odd, it cannot divide the power of 2 factor. Therefore, 37 must divide the other factor. 2 to the power of the absolute value of m minus n plus 1. This can be expressed as a congruence relation. This is our first critical condition. Let's hold on to this. Now, let's examine the second relationship, which involves the factor 35. Consider the case where a equals b. If a equals b, the left side becomes 0, which forces m to equal n. Substituting a equals b and m equals n into our first equation gives 37 times 2, a equals 2 to the m plus 1. Dividing both sides by 2 gives 37a equals 2 to the m. This is impossible because 37 is an odd prime that cannot divide any power of 2. Therefore, a cannot be equal to b and consequently m cannot be equal to n. Since a is not equal to b, the left side is a non-zero multiple of 35. Using similar factoring logic, since 35 is odd, it cannot divide powers of 2. We factor the difference similarly, and 35 must divide the second factor. Therefore, 2 to the power of the absolute value of m minus n minus 1 must be divisible by 35. This is our second critical condition. We now have two conditions for the same integer. Let's see if they can coexist. Let d equal the absolute value of m minus n, which we know is a positive integer. From our second condition, 2 to the d is congruent to 1 modulo 35. Since 35 equals 5 times 7, this implies two separate congruences. Namely, 2 to the d is congruent to 1 modulo 5, and 2 to the d is congruent to 1 modulo 7. 2 to the fourth power equals 16, which is congruent to 1 modulo 5. Therefore, the order of 2 modulo 5 is 4, so 4 divides d. 2 to the third power equals 8, which is congruent to 1 modulo 7. Therefore, the order of 2 modulo 7 is 3, so 3 divides d. For d to be a multiple of both 3 and 4, it must be a multiple of their least common multiple, which is 12. This is a powerful constraint. Now let's examine our first condition. 2 to the d is congruent to negative 1 modulo 37. If we square both sides of this congruence, we get 2 to the power of 2d is congruent to 1 modulo 37. We can verify that 2 to the 18th power is congruent to negative 1 modulo 37. Since squaring gives 2 to the 36th equals 1, and 2 to the 18th is not 1, the order is 36. 
Here's the calculation. 2 to the 10th is 1024, which is congruent to 25 modulo 37. 2 to the 8th is 256, which is congruent to 34 modulo 37. Therefore, 2 to the 18th equals 25 times 34, which equals 850, and 850 is congruent to negative 1 modulo 37. Since the order is 36, we have 36 divides 2d. But if 36 divided d, then 2 to the d would equal 1, not negative 1. Therefore, 18 divides d, but 36 does not. However, if d were a multiple of 36, then 2 to the d would be congruent to 1, not negative 1. This means d must be a multiple of 18, but not a multiple of 36. This means d must be an odd multiple of 18. Let's combine our constraints. Since 12 divides d and 18 divides d, their least common multiple must also divide d. The least common multiple of 12 and 18 is 36. Therefore, 36 must divide d. However, our analysis from the modulo 37 condition showed that 36 does not divide d. This is a contradiction. We cannot have 36 divides d and 36 does not divide d simultaneously. This contradiction invalidates our initial premise. The assumption that the expression could be a power of 2 has led to a contradiction. Therefore, the original statement must be true. For any positive integers a and b, this expression can never be a power of 2. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more math content.